Welcome to Thought Bar. Think of us as NPR's rowdy cousin. <laughs> Grab a seat. Your bartenders will be out shortly. Hello, everyone in internet land. Yo, what up? <laughs> this is a Thought Bar. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back, man. You <laughs> already know. Special. Halloween special. <laughs> Halloween <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Thought Bar. You know how we run in this thing. Let it go. Let's get it, man. It's a <laughs> extra special time, extra special year. You can feel the electricity in the air. I mean, is that what you special is what you call? I call it special. I mean, it's special. <laughs> <all right. laughs> Scary. <laughs> This gonna be the man. This is a twist on season four yeah. of, of America. Twenty twenty is bad writing at its finest, <laughs> <laughs> or good writing at its exactly. worst. <laughs> kill like, a, kill a bees, kill a hornets, kill a hor- mur- murder hornets. Murder hornets. You got yeah. It's get the, get writing. it right there. Put they, put some respect on their name before they come. Pop put your a- in the neck. <laughs> Take your goddamn they neck watching, out. They watching this right now. It's straight up, bro. You, you seen the fly drop, drop a dime on Pence. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. That boy <laughs> suck, boy, and, and post it. That boy posed. JoJo posed. <laughs> That boy hit it, bro. Hit it, bro. I mean, good lord, I never, I've never seen a fly stay that still for that long, bro. I'm on TV, ma. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, man. Bro. Hey, man. Welcome back, um, guys. We're back at it, man. We're with the Georgia beer, Georgia beer Garden in this thing, yes, man. Yes, sir. Hey, having a good time for now until <laughs> November third. <laughs> We're going to see what's up. Exactly. But uh, having this a great- This podcast going to get real different. Oh, boy. <laughs> don't go I, my way. We already told y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we already told y'all we're about to pop off, man. <laughs> you know, I, 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 hey, man. podcast going to get real hey, militant. Hey, hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sector V is under attack. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's going to be guns in the back. <laughs> Battalion 3, move <laughs> forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Uh, get real Asia Empire in there. <laughs> forging for wood and, 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 and weapons so, uh, <laughs> yeah man uh, so we're in this thing man having a good time yeah man just like you all are just uh feeling the electricity in the air ready to see what's gonna happen in these next couple of weeks right yeah right. yeah yeah <laughs> and you see i got two shots in this thing i mean, I mean two drinks two, you know if what you're saying? watching us visually <laughs> On you YouTube. see us on YouTube right hey, now. Hey, I need three, really. <laughs> really I need no. three, but I don't think exactly. my, I don't think my wallet can take it. <laughs> Next <laughs> round on me. Next. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, um, but let me get this shot shot list for you guys, man. We, you know how long we'll, we'll sit here f- around all day. Mm-hmm. Oh man! All right, guys. So. Continuing our uh, season of America 2.0, mm-hmm. this episode is going to be America 2.0, our place in the world. And uh, mm-hmm. we're going to try to focus on how does America, where does America find itself and how does it put itself in a better position to be a better neighbor, you know, to the globe, to the planet. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we, we're supposed to be the leaders, you know, just by, you know, I mean, you know. We, got the, we got the largest gun. So. I mean, exactly. <laughs> so some, usually the person with the gun run things. I mean, so, usually. Usually. So we're going to so talk about. not shooting itself in the foot. In the, okay. I mean, okay. blasting all 10. <laughs> <laughs> we've been shooting all 10, boy. Really? So, uh, so we're going to be, oh, so we're going to be uh, dealing with that today. Um, and so we'll go ahead and get the drink of the day started also. Mm-hmm. Championships and COVID. Hey man, uh, you know we're gonna try to lighten it up a little bit. Uh, I know you guys are tired of hearing of the doom and gloom from COVID and whatnot, and where we're going with that. But we, so we're gonna mix it up we're and talk mix. a little bit with sports. You know what I'm yes. saying? The championships, and then uh, our our pop shot guys is gonna be, um, you know, <laughs> is astrology real? Is it valid? <laughs> yeah. Not a, well, it, 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 it's astrology, right? It's astrology. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> the Virgos and Capricorns Come and. On. Shit. <laughs> Come on! Like, what, is that bad? We're gonna revisit that. I mean, it's so yeah. many songs about it. It's gotta be it's something. Got to be it's gotta real. have something. <laughs> <laughs> the rapper said it was true. Exactly. So it's gotta be true. <laughs> Beyonce said, "You know what?" All right, <laughs> so, uh, and then our next shot, uh, guys, is our uh, our pop shot. No, our tech shot, oh. which is uh, is social media gonna stick around with us? Mm-hmm. You know. Um, 
contrary to popular belief, it's not holding its own like it used to. So, cool. Hey, what, where is that headed? What does that mean for us? What does that yeah. mean for communications, advertisements? Yeah. All that. So that's what we got for you guys. I hope you like the drink list. It don't matter. You're going to take these shots anyway. I mean, so here exactly. we go. <laughs> you feel <laughs> you feel now. You're going to take this goddamn shot. Like if you don't. We, we don't like shit. your babysitting. Nothing right here. <laughs> <laughs> so. Let's go. Let's get it, man. Speaking of let's go, championships and COVID. Mm. Uh, LA, LA done took another one home, huh? Mm, mm. So, hey, you know, Look, I know that's your guy, so I'm gonna let you have that. Hey, <laughs> let me tell y'all something. LeBron James. Oh shit! <laughs> Turn it to goddamn shit. It's sharp out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Did that man bring a goat to the show, bro? There goes that man. <laughs> Come on now, <laughs> hey man. I'm look, man. Oh. I'm telling y'all right now, man. I'm so happy. Yeah, man. LeBron took another one home. Yeah, and I mean. Throughout this whole thing, I mean, the naysayers. Oh, man. The yeah. naysayers. Yeah. I mean, because they lost, you know, they they, 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 would, they would lose, you know, they would lose a game. Yeah. And the na- I mean, well, you know, oh, L.A. about to get swept. And then every time <laughs> L.A. would turn around yeah. and take it home, they'd be, you know, then all of a sudden, they're, they're, oh, they're uh, quiet. you know, this is the easiest uh, playoff season ever because it's, nah, bro, I thought you said it was going to get swept. Yeah. Now yeah. all of a sudden, it's the easiest playoff season ever. <laughs> Bruh, you this, better pick one. Come on, now you, you gotta, gotta pick you gotta one. Pick bro. one or the this other. is the longest NBA season of all time. Oh damn! You talking think about, about that. you know, see, because I had uh, my my brother in law was like, man, NBA season seems short, and I was like, well, that's because it started, then it took a pause, yeah. and they moved everything to the bubble, and then we got you know, so it was split into two smaller. But, but yeah. look, man, that's besides the point, man. My boy done took it <laughs> to the house, bro. Okay, <laughs> and I'm a fan of whatever team he on. Okay, I don't care nothing about no. But that's how the NBA is now. That's how the I NBA mean, is like, now. You got to be a fan of a player. You can't yeah, be a fan bro. of a team. No, you know, because exactly, unless man. the team got like eight championships in the in the in the bank. Exactly, man. You know they be saying? shuffling players like decks of cards <laughs> in the NBA at this point. Like, so I you can't even like be like, oh, I'm a. Fan. It's like no, you basically have to. I follow. LeBron James, yeah, and yeah. I mean, and House of James, yeah, this the House of James, House bro. of the King, and I mean, and it's it, it's for just more than all the things that he's been doing on the court. Yeah. It's the things he does off the court. He is an excellent role model. I mean, and that's you can't really, get better than than James. You really comes. can't. You yeah. really can't. And that's what puts him above Jordan for me. Oh, it's the. Sh- you don't ran out now. You don't ran out now. Hey, 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 hey. You done know, brought the, the producer out. Tracy I, I, back. I, I, what is that? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Tracy back on the other <laughs> Tracy's like, let me go ahead and cut Tracy's his mic off right quick. Actually, <laughs> <Ashley, Ashley, Ashley, laughs> I saw her reaching the mic up. She, 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 let me jack on in. Now, <laughs> is wild. <laughs> but yeah, but that was uh-huh. that was one thing, you know, like once yeah. I once I had become of age, I started to, you know, realize it was like, ugh, man, Mike Mike is not a great person. No, he wasn't. He wasn't a great person <laughs> off the court. Mike was an amazing person on the court. He but, was. You know, oh, but when it comes to man off the court, yeah. Man, LeBron James really has it for me and so, I'm just happy for the so, for the for the for the boy. So, so I'll say two things. Number one, I think I think to end the debate between Jordan and LeBron, <laughs> I think Jordan is the greatest player uh-huh. that ever played, but uh-huh. I think LeBron is the best player that ever played. And okay. the reason why Jordan is great because he he moved the sport he from did. from obscurity to an international f- phenomenon, yes, as well as winning every championship he was he's been in, yes. So it's like that that makes him the gr- that, that's greatness, right? Yes. But mm-hmm. LeBron is hands down pound for pound the best player that we've ever seen I, I, in the NBA I can by far. Agree. I completely you know? agree with so, everything you just said. Because I know everybody, you know, it's like, it's hard, right? Everybody it, like like to the, like the compare the errors. It's like, you can't compare it's just, errors, Yeah, it's man. just too hard to compare. It's, it's like, like so, so now you're trying to compare Carl Malone and John Stockton Carl versus Malone. this. Carl Malone? Like, Carl Malone? I don't know what, we, what we're even doing. It's, you know, so, yeah. I, you know, that's, yeah, that is definitely, but I mean, it does seem like at this point, LeBron James got that damn championship on a rope, bro. I mean, everywhere <laughs> he go, the championship. I mean, go. come on, man. Never, that, that, never, that, I mean, I'm in, I'm in Miami. The championship in Miami. I'm yeah. going back home to Cleveland. Championship. And that's what makes him the best. I'm, that, I'm that, going to LA now. Oh, the it, championship back in LA. <laughs> boy, that boy got the thing on a string. You hear me? <laughs> hey, bro, I'm not trying to hear it, bro. Man, you go, you're going to draw the spirit of Shannon Sharp into them. Bro. <laughs> you're gonna, O'Shea, unk, unk, unk. No, the yak and Jack. <laughs> 
Yuck and Jack. But no, the, the second thing I'm going to say is shouts out to uh, uh, Adam Silver. Ain't mm-hmm. that the commissioner? For zero COVID infections while they were in the bubble. He... I mean, he. I mean, most of our state leadership and definitely our national leadership should take a cue from this guy to keep that many players in the, the NBA players NBA with players. access to all the money to, 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 <laughs> to the whole to, bank to strippers and hot ones <laughs> in, in Orlando. You know, Miami ain't far from Orlando. I you know, they would have flew them up. Yeah. Oh, so what you talking to keep about? Them, to keep them isolated and to be keep them fed and taken care of and to keep the games going. Yes. Is really a, a feat of, of magnificence, to be completely honest. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, uh, that's no, amazing. No infections, that's amazing. And I, I think that says something. I think that, that says so, a lot about also, um, you know, it's like it says a lot about him yeah. and the organization that he is running. Yeah. But it also says, I think, a lot about the players. It does. And how, you know, it's like, man, like you were talking about really some socially responsible players <laughs> like yeah, to, to yeah. all decide like okay no this is important enough to us that we're all gonna kind of be away from family and yeah you know and 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 and, and women and yeah. all this stuff you know and just yeah. kind of we're gonna hunker down and do this but you know you yeah. can see by the i mean like having black lives matter and socially conscious things yeah. on their jerseys and on the courts you could tell that it's like man these people are serious about the things that they're serious about so i mean for sure that for was sure. yeah that was yeah it was kudos huge. to it, him yeah and, and 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 i'll say this i'm not uh stupid and and believe that nobody tried yeah, to do anything yeah yeah yeah, yeah. right like we know I, I, know, I know i know <laughs> that, that, we and, know and i know fact. some got through i know i know that Bruh, yes. but but it does speak to them um in the very least that like yo i'm i'm assuming that they even asked whoever they were sneaking in like yo you've been you've been distant i seen your instagram you you know what I'm saying like you mm-hmm. been you been at restaurants now nah, you yeah. can't come through. I feel like they did exactly. something like that because yeah. to keep to keep, I mean to keep that many like wealthy rich people, <laughs> rich athletes yes. isolated is is Ooh. that's not normal. No, you know that's a feat. I'm sure Tokyo is like calling Adam Silver right now like, because you know that Olympic Village get wild. Oh, bro, <laughs> what you talking about, bro? Oh, especially Olymp- bro. If you so he probably like yo, how did you do this? Yo, like, I'm in the Olympic vin- Village, man. Soon as my event, I'd have heard some stories. Soon as my event <laughs> ends, bro, I'm, I'm out here, bro. I'm out here. They was they were, they wilding them oh, in Olympic bro. Villages, man. It <laughs> get wild out there, bro. So, because oh, I mean, it's the, it's the best athletes in the oh, world. Some some, some taut <laughs> niggas, <laughs> some taut. <laughs> That's all you gotta say. You gotta say that. Just, <laughs> just, some, just some talk. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's so fit. <laughs> <laughs> the, I mean, the Greek gods out here, right? <laughs> exactly. You know the man? pantheon out this <laughs> Harold and got Tams. Oh, man. No, but it, it's wild that they. Um, you know that that happens, but yeah. it is what it is. You so go. you know, to be able to manage athletes like that and to keep them isolated is just again, shots out, man. Yeah, like, yeah. good job, Adam. You Great. did you did a good job. Great. You stepped up when it was time. Yeah, bro. Now <laughs> I need um, all. I need all all of the Atlanta Falcons. That man, stop. Go man. ahead. And get <laughs> now, <laughs> bleep. I'm I'm definitely cutting that. <laughs> I'm cutting that. <laughs> I mean, he all that Atlanta Falcons. The statement redacted. Hey, bro, hey, man. man. I, I ain't even talking about. I need an excuse for like us to not play this season. <laughs> <laughs> it's over, man. I'm sorry. But I ain't gonna speak on that. I ain't gonna speak on that. We talking about championships. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Championships. <laughs> not <which>, lack thereof. <laughs> They don't talk about my boys like that. Man. You know I know, saying? right? We we love y'all. We hope y'all are all healthy and and everything like that. Because Atlanta does really really love y'all. Y'all should know this because y'all, you guys are terrible. <laughs> so <laughs> the fact that we've been back you this long, you should yeah, know we yeah. really really actually do f- our Falcons up in this city. Yeah, it, yeah, for, for sure, real, for, for sure. But anyway, man, uh, I think <laughs> yeah, good shot, good job, LeBron. Good job, Adam. Good job. I think we shouldn't move on without uh, saying that one was for Kobe. Um, yeah, that was a good one to bring home for that Kobe, was a, man. Ooh, uh, you that know, was that, a good. That, that's a good one. Yeah, it just legacy right there. Oh, it made that's it legacy. so much sweeter. Yeah, just yeah. because that, that hurt yeah. for everybody. That that, that one hurt, man. That hurt for yeah. everybody. So, Thanks to Kobe. Shout that's, to Kobe. Yeah. The Mamba. And now we'll put and with that, guys, we'll put that shot down. 
And we will continue and pick up another one. Another one. Because we drink like that right here. Hey, bro. We we, got, hey, we, hey, bro. We, you, hey, you better be. Your liver better be strong. <laughs> it it better be, be benching 300. Hey, bro. <laughs> if not. Squatting about what? <laughs> Five feet? <laughs> Easy. No. Um, <laughs> pick it up next shot, guys. Um, astrology. All right. And everything about it. That pop shot. Whoo. Hey, man. This is interesting because. I remember a time mm-hmm. when, you know, the people who were so into signs and all this other stuff, mm-hmm. that was a little weird. Yeah. But now that's the norm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, I remember a time when, like, yo, like, like if you led off with, what sign are you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We aren't compatible. Yeah. It's like, folks will be like, what the f- wrong with you yeah nowadays it's like almost kind of the language of everybody yes you know what i mean and so and people at least halfway take it seriously yeah and one of the things is 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 so that brings up the question of like yo are we in a situation of of uh what it is uh what do they call it it's it's, it's a it's a it's a fallacy um uh, self-fulfilling prophecy oh yes yeah yeah or yeah, or, yeah. or is there some type of validity to uh this thing like because because and from personal experience, it is kind of interesting how like some of it be like at least eighty percent true. I, it, 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 it's weird. <laughs> it is like, it's, it's it weird. Is like it's a like, weird coincidence that like, just like slowly wears wears on you. Yeah, and it gets you in to and the I, like it's like yeah. you know what this is right, <laughs> and then all of a sudden now you in because exactly. you're like damn that was like. That was, right. that was pretty accurate. That was pretty accurate about me. I don't know about the other ones, but about me. And, yeah. and at first, the ones in the newspapers and shit to start off, and they used to miss. Yeah. I almost feel like we're like creating a feedback loop. Like it's like, uh-huh. <laughs> especially <laughs> online. Like 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 yeah. when you're taking these these tests and online, it's like, oh yeah, that's yeah yeah. This these people were born between this time actually are like this this and this. Yeah. 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 Now I you know the funny thing is I always um used to try to make it make sense for me. Like oh, I used to try to. Shit add the science to it oh, like, why? like you know because it was you know i like, got a like, theory but i'm gonna wait like you like you said it's like one of those things where it's just like huh that is weirdly interestingly accurate yeah sometimes yeah now look man you know take with that what you will <laughs> but um you know the, the when i think when i first started to try to make sense of it yeah the first thing that came to mind was um I don't know if, how many of you guys out there watch like Game of Thrones and stuff like that, mm-hmm. but they started to, um, in Game of Thrones. There was a thing about children who were born uh, in the winter, you know, saying like yeah. the different seasons because, you know, and it would wear on their personalities differently. People yeah. who were born in the spring yeah. were like this. People who, the children born in the winter were like this. Yeah. Children born in different seasons, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And I started to think, th- does that maybe just have something to do with it? Like Man. the 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 temperatures, the climate. Of when you were born, yeah, maybe has something to do with yeah. acting on your personality because, like you said, sometimes it's like it'd be scary accurate. Sometimes you're <laughs> like, uh, they are like that, and then you'd be like, you know, eight friends down the list looking at the chart, like, damn, That's all it. of you, like, this is yeah. actually it, like, even to the point of like, like the cuspers. So like, it's like if if people are on the cut, like the the folks who are just Leo or just Capricorn uh-huh. or something, it's like, no, you act a lot more like the sign behind you, yeah. Than, than, yes. than, than your sign because you're on that cusp. Mm-hmm. So I, science, right? Mm-hmm. Got some science for y'all. Mm-hmm. This one, and then and, and and I want whoever listening to this, please get this back to the grand scientists of <laughs> the uh, grand of the scientist. world, <laughs> right? This needs the to be scientist this, supreme. This, this, <laughs> <laughs> the Zaw <laughs> scientists, <laughs> Zaw <Marvel> research. <laughs> the scientist supreme. <laughs> yeah, get this back to him or her, mm-hmm. and, and 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 get research because here's, here's my theory, <laughs> All right, and this, theory? this is crazy this is crazy so ants mm-hmm. are apparently they, their brains okay. is, are so small that their brain uh, their brains are so small that like it's affected by electromagnetic uh waves and fields uh-huh. so like if you put like a bunch of ants near like a magnet or like electronics they send tend to gravitate towards it okay it's like it's f- there because they, I mean they probably only got like ten electrons up there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're so small, right? <laughs> yes. Is it, it actually influences like the, the way their brain mm-hmm. works. I think if you look on a cosmic scale, yes, the positioning of the planets and the positioning of the bodies uh, in space uh-huh. might create might have an effect on how our neurons grow at different times of the year. 
So okay. pathways in which I bring, you know, and uh-huh. that might lead to personalities being similar. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, no, no. I so actually, like, so like, like yeah, on, no. on, on a mass, like, so for us, mm-hmm. uh, 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 motherboard yes. will change an ant's uh, yes. uh, mind and in, in how it works, right? Uh-huh. For for humans, for something to be on that scale, will have to be planetary, uh-huh. and so different times of the year, no, different I, planets all around, I, and pulling that the, the gravitational pull is different. I, yeah. Our brains might be look, developing look, along the same pattern. So. I actually believe <clears> that. You, what you're what you're hitting on is probably what some of the people who initially came up with this concept were maybe even thinking. Mm. Like they might have been like, "Well, the way that these planets align and their effect on us, yeah, X Y Z, and yeah. it's not too far from the, yeah. you know." Then you starting to go, "Hey, well, does that mean that you're this kind of person?" Or you yeah. know, yeah. under the moon, like you know, we you know, different yeah. cultures <clears throat> talk about how the different things out there affect us for sure and um and to me see my thing is this like if you are a person who is spiritual or religious in any way Uh when it comes to the idea of astrology you know to me to me it's you're used at that point it's you're one step to the left or the right (laughs) like at that point it's you know it's like once you start to say that if you believe in magic yeah, which or ten armed gods. Hey, look, it, w- w- whatever it is, and and when I say that to 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 you guys who are listening out there, I am accounting myself a part of that. Yeah, you know, 100%. say like I, you know, it's like if you are a religious person, then yeah. you to some degree, to a large degree, believe in magic. Mm-hmm. Believe that there are forces out there that, that we, we cannot explain. S- explain. We cannot scientifically quantify them, and yeah. that there are forces pulling on us as people. Now, once you cross that barrier and yeah. you say that I believe those things, yeah. look, man, you're one step to the left or the right of <laughs> really can, you, any you, you religion. You can't denigrate. You can't yeah, denigrate. You can't, it's not like, people well, it's like, exactly. Yeah. It's like, well, well, that's just like, you know, saying crazy people science. It's like, no, bro. At, at that point, everything that we're in is yeah. crazy people. Once we've decided that, hey, these religions or spirituality is a thing, then yeah. All of this is, you know, is in play. Yeah, everything's in play everything's at that point. Play. You can, you know, yeah. y- you know. I remember one time. I'll, I'll say this. One time, uh, me and Nick were in the car and we were talking about, um, uh, just you know, religion in general. Yeah. And even talking about the, you know, the, 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 the Christian Bible and how, you know, the Christian Bible speaks on other forces. Mm-hmm. And you know, there are a lot of times when you are, uh, you know, reading the Christian Bible where it is, it may, it, you know, it may say something. I guess disparagingly mm-hmm. about some other belief, yeah. but it doesn't necessarily count it out as not existing. <laughs> it, 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 you know, it's like no, yeah. it's it's telling you that it's like, hey, yeah. there are other forces out there that are, you know, that are that I don't are know what in the play. Hell that is. I thought it was my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like it is telling you that there are other forces out there that are in play. Yeah. Even if it is saying that, hey, I am the right force, I am yeah. the correct force, that <clears> there are other things out there. That are forces. Yeah, we ain't yes, even going to get into angelology. And we ain't even going to get into all that. Yeah, well, <laughs> the Catholics know what I'm talking about. The, the Catholics but, but, know. <laughs> but no, uh, I, I really just think that, like, it's something to look at. Yes. Like, and, and I don't think that, no, you shouldn't set your watch by this or be exactly. like, you know, oh, this is impossible because there's a myriad of other variables at play. Yeah, of course. It's not as simple as, like, you know, X equals, you know, one type situation. Mm-hmm. It's just, you know, the underpinning of their – the foundation of how they think might be similar because mm-hmm. of the effects of the, the, the planetary bodies at the yes. time. Um, but as you were saying, you know, it could be a mirror how, where they grew up and how they grew up exactly. and all this other shit is just, um, you know, it's just, it, 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 it has an effect on it, but I yeah, do think sure. it should be studied and I don't think we should continue to dismiss it. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. It's something about it. And, and maybe, maybe there's some psychologists out here who are like, Nick, y'all are dumb as f- yeah, you know, yeah. like they like this is this effect on this, and this is the bias on this. Yeah. It's like, well, I, I still want to look at it yeah. because the thing is, is that like science gets real weird. The further it we does. get into science, it the does. further it starts to kind of loop back around. Yes, uh, and I say <laughs> that to say this: it's like <laughs> there are scientists now who are now uh, saying that it's possible that the universe is conscious. Scientists now, yeah. these researchers and everything, they're saying like, like yo, it's Ooh. possible. Or even the scientists who believe that this might, this entire thing might be a simulation. 
Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, and, and that's not a, like you know, like I'm yes. not again. Y'all know how I feel about conspiracy theories, right? It's like, yo, like it, it, it presented as a theory. All of this is just theory, guys. Yes, I'm not saying this is what it is. I'm just saying some credible folks are saying that it's a possibility that we are in a massive computer simulation right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the f- matrix. <laughs> Get out. Exactly. Ashley, this is your signal. Exactly. This as is, we, this is Morpheus sleep. telling you to come back to the goddamn exactly. Nebuchadnezzar. Ooh, wake up. <laughs> wake up. <laughs> you are aboard the Nebuchadnezzar. Ooh. Get out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Tracy's moving us along. She's tired of hearing that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> well, hey, say, what the hell they on this episode? They done smoked some. <laughs> Smoke some heavy dank. Uh, but uh, no, um, <laughs> moving on to the next shot, guys. What was it? <laughs> uh, freaking um, social media. Social media. Yes. The, the, <laughs> yeah. How long can social media last? And are we seeing it waning? You know, um, uh-huh. where are we with social media? And, and if it went away, what would that mean for society? So I'll start off by saying this. Okay. Uh, last year, mm-hmm. reports were that every platform was losing followers. Mm-hmm. I don't know if TikTok was in that, uh-huh. but every platform in general was losing either followers or engagement. Basically, people had started to kind of shed away from social media, uh-huh. which is kind of opposite. Well, I guess when you think about it, if you look at every single platform, mm-hmm. you do kind of see this kind of like uh, downhill move. Yeah. Like Facebook definitely has had uh, depreciating engagement. Mm-hmm. Twitter, Twitter's appreci- it seems like it spiked up, but that's after a mm-hmm. heavy drop off mm-hmm. from when it from its like peak. And Instagram is also seeing the same thing. Mm-hmm. So the question becomes, what happens? You know, if these continue to fall, like what happens if social media uh, loses its place in society? Because it's become like social media is the thing, right? Yeah. It's the thing, yeah, and and so much so that like whole industries have sprouted up around it, and yes. and advertisement dollars mainly go to I ain't gonna say mainly I don't have the numbers on that guys, uh-huh. um a, a lot of advertisement dollars go to mm-hmm. um social media. I don't know. It's a very odd thing because I I am old enough to remember life before social media. Yes, but I don't want to. I don't think I want to exist without it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I, I do recognize back. how toxic it is, <laughs> yes, right? Like, yeah, I do yeah, recognize completely. how toxic it, it is. But at the same time, it's like, yo, it's like it's a lot cooler and a lot better to know what your folks are, are doing and, yes. and to be able to stay engaged in the lives of your friends and stuff. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. To that end, I think, like, maybe that might be the dec- the decline that we're seeing, that people are kind of returning back to just, hey, man, I'm good with just knowing what my friends are doing. I don't really care what everybody in the world is doing. And that, in fact, mm-hmm. it might be overwhelming. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Huh. I will say that I do know mm-hmm. that um, I, I do know that uh, about a year ago, year or so ago, um, which could have an effect on these numbers of the numbers dropping off. Yeah. Was that a lot of the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, um, start to heavily crack down on bots. Mm. They start to get rid of bots. That's that was that uh, yeah. about two years ago. That was probably about a year and a half ago when people started being like, you know, people that like start jumping on being like, dang, I lost like 500 followers in a day. It was like well, yeah. all those 500 followers were like bots and things yeah, like that. Yeah. And it was cleaning these systems out and not allowing them to kind of just persist in this kind of weird space. I think which is a good thing, which is a good thing. Yeah, um, I think that um, social media is. I, 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 you know, I think that it is here to stay. Okay. I think that if the numbers are dwindling down, I think they're probably settling into something a little more regular. Sustainable. Exactly. Yeah. I think that probably it's, it's I, I think that we're just, I think that social media is one of those things where it's like, to me, social media is like when TVs were invented. I think that there was probably a boom and then there was a settling into like, Okay, well now these people have TVs now, and yeah, they, you know, cars, and there was a boom of everybody trying to get a cut, and you know, same thing that happened with you know, uh, smartphones, and you know, it's like, mm-hmm. you know, it's like with the iPhone. He's like, at one point there were just lines and lines, and it's like, <laughs> well, it's not lines anymore, but a yeah. lot of people have iPhones now, so they just have them, and it's kind of a casual thing. Yeah, I think that that idea that you know, I think that we are definitely past the idea of people thinking that they could just 
live without them or mm. that they live without a, social media. Yeah. Like they were just like, oh, mm. I'm just going to like not be a part of this at I, all. I, yeah. It was one of those things where it's just like now if you are a person who decides that you're going to live without social media, it's kind of like a person who's decided that like we have friends who like are like, oh, I don't watch television yeah. at all. Yeah. It's like, well, cool. Can you survive and do that? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be behind on most cultural things? events? Yes, definitely. Yeah. You'll probably be behind on most things. Um, and that's fine. I mean, if your job doesn't require you to be in the no, no like yeah, that, yeah. but if your job does, which a lot of people's job does, yeah. um, you're on social media. Well, well, I think, I think that maybe, I think there's a strong movement of people who are cutting off social media completely. If not cutting off completely, taking long, long uh, sabbaticals. Uh, sabbatical is probably a strong word for that. But no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <but>, uh, <laughs> sabbatical. Like, dang. <laughs> I removed my. <laughs> no, they're, but they're taking breaks. Um, people, I think people are taking breaks. And I think people are getting less from it than what initially they were able to get from it. I think there's a lot more stress coming from it mm -hmm. than it started off as mm -hmm. people you know yeah. as in that settling period people are starting to now compare right mm -hmm. so social media let's, let's start back in the days of myspace mm -hmm. was just a fun way for you to be creative and, f and show your, your swag and yeah. show show who you are and all yeah, this stuff cute. yeah yeah all mm -hmm. that and but there wasn't much stress to it. I think the stress had started, but we didn't realize it. it was yeah, like, we didn't. It was like like, like keeping up with the Joneses. Somebody changed their they MySpace page to mm -hmm. SpongeBob with f bling on. Yeah. Everybody else got to flip it to Cadillacs with rims. Yeah. It. You know what I'm saying? It was. Like, <laughs> you know how that <laughs> used to be, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's like what, folks, what song you got playing in the background? I know it's got to be the <laughs> latest. <laughs> throw some D's on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Man, it, yeah. it music soul child or something. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm poetic. I got to show my side. Yeah, show exactly. My side. <laughs> Everybody else got soldier boys on there. I'm, like, I mean, I'm, I'm little, deeper than that. I'm a music soul child. I, I, I do there, poetry. <laughs> no, that type of shit. But, you, you know, so yeah. MySpace started it, and it wasn't as stressful because I yeah. think the people, the generate the millennials started who pioneered um, yeah. social media. You know, uh, we was teens, so yeah. life wasn't that serious. Yes. But then, you know, you get into the Facebooks and the Instagrams now at this age, and then it becomes this thing of like, oh, like what are they doing with their life? How mm -hmm. much money are they making? What kind of car yeah, do they yeah, have? For sure, you for know, sure. saying what kind of house? Oh man, this person just bought a house. I ain't got no house. Uh -huh. You know, that, that, yeah, that, that's yeah. how it starts. You start to, and this kind of artificial stress starts to build up. Yeah, and. I think the other Gen, Gen Z and maybe even Gen, Z, Gen Alpha have taken clue from that and uh -huh. kind of just fallen in line and done the same thing. Uh -huh. You'll see like <clears throat> the, you know, these, these teens and, and these kids have stress that it's like, why the f are you this stress? Yeah. I mean, we've seen the rise in suicides yes. from the younger population yes. because of yes. online communities. Yes. And so it's like, wow, what the f They followed kind of in our steps of, of this kind of yeah. depression because they've gotten on it earlier than us before yeah. they could even realize what how to even how the hell to even deal with the stress of knowing it what everybody is doing at one time no, there's a weight of yeah. omnipresent uh, of, of omnipotence right oh for you, sure you know what i'm saying the, i'm yes. not saying you know everything but you, you, yeah you no for sure for sure i will say i'll say um to 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 the point that you're making yeah i will say that um the falling off it, it i think that it really will be a settling into probably people having a healthier relationship with social media i think so you know maybe not constantly being on their phone it was the same i like like i said with like the iphone it was like do you want an iphone still yes mm -hmm. do you do you kind of you know you don't need to stand in the line on opening day to get this <laughs> damn thing like just <laughs> that, you know yeah, you know, it's, really it's, it's, it's not that serious yeah, like yeah. just you know get, you know get it whenever you can don't stress yourself don't break your bank account not at it's all. just a regular phone you know it's like that kind of casualness i think now to social media like you can start to see that like even you know certain things like twitter people aren't um so um focused on like follower count 
on Twitter anymore. Just saying whatever the hell they. And got just like I don't care if you know, it's like the same as yeah. like Facebook. Yeah. Like you know, like I I remember when Facebook first started and people were just in a mad dash to have as many friends as possible. For sure. They were just for like, oh, sure. oh, how many friends you got? Oh, I, I hit the max limit. They told me I couldn't have no more for this month. You know, that was like a thing. You know, what I'm it saying? was. It and was. then eventually, in the old days of social media, bruh, <laughs> in the beginning, exactly, in, in the beginning, in the beginning. <laughs> y'all don't remember, y'all. Some of y'all younger than us millennials, y'all don't remember. <laughs> but I remember. Don't quote the <laughs> don't quote the book to me. I was there when it was written. <laughs> <laughs> that was so but but and then it became a thing of like people having um facebook accounts that were like i like my facebook account to have as little friends as possible because i don't I've want y'all muddying up my feed i actually want to deal with my family and exactly friends, i yeah. just want to deal with the people who my my, my homies yeah. and i really don't I, i'm making everything private all of a sudden yeah. and i just want my close friends to be a part of my social media experience yeah. instead of it being just like a plethora of a hundred thousand people you know saying and that i think that people are starting to or at least trying to have a bit of a healthier relationship yeah with it um yeah. and i mean because at this point it it, it getting completely uh, going completely away from it would be like if one of our parents decided that they stopped reading the newspaper back in the day or I'm watching a, cnn a, it's like well no yeah. this is our tv like you yeah. guys had the you guys had the newspapers and tvs and it's like well this is kind of our thing that millennials yeah. came up yeah. with. this is a millennial thing that we it, do we created social media and this is how we talk it, to each yeah. other you guys talk to each other through newspaper articles and yeah. taking out bits and pieces in the news yeah if you could have talked to 100 people at once you would have as well well so the thing about it is like uh i'm gonna be completely honest with you i find it completely weird if a person has no profile at all no, like no pro none, none. <laughs> oh yeah no no that's, that's a little strange to me oh for and i don't know if that's weird because you know social media has made me that way but i think it's had profound effects on that i think it has i think it's had profound effects on relationships because um you know we're talking about mm -hmm. the, the realization that you can know or yeah. contact so many people at yeah. one time that's just nothing that a generation before us had the ability to do yeah and so it's really warping relationships but i got the rap so i gotta cut that off guys yes. if you want to hear more please reach out or post I mean, a comment on the youtube on, a, on our social media <laughs> on our social <laughs> contact media contact us on our social media if you don't have it don't worry about if it if you don't have it what are you doing you weirdo <laughs> Stop, stop being weird. <laughs> just make a page. Exactly. No, no, but, just make uh, a page so you can talk to people. I don't know, man. Oh. I got an email account. Email is basically social media. I don't, oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, shot down on that one, guys. Um, and we will be picking up our beer our for, beer for it. tonight. Okay. Uh, uh, this is going to be a stout. I, I, I don't and I'm not a beer <laughs> no. This will be a stout. What is a stout? <laughs> I just hear that thrown around a lot. We no. named the show Thought Bar. Neither, neither one of us are actual bartenders. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what these things are. I order a Jack and Coke every time. Every time. <laughs> exactly. Every time. It's Jack Daniels all the time. Every time. Guys, that's what we're... Never Jack mind. Daniels, sponsor us, Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying right now. Or anybody. I will drink whatever. <laughs> you, Whatever you got <laughs> whatever you got <laughs> no um but the uh, beer for the night guys is america 2.0 our place in the world um mm -hmm. that is such an interesting thing um it is because you look at you know the united states is, is is the greatest empire that has existed since rome right and, I, and I, be I, I greatest I being that. most powerful yes, and most, most powerful e economically yeah. powerful i guess yes um, we're not we're, we're not trying to equate goodness. No, in, in any sense no. Of no. <laughs> we're speaking of power, power, and not goodness. The, the, the power, the powers that matter: economic power, economic might, and military might. Yes. Right. Uh, the most powerful nation that's ever existed um, in the history of the world. Mm -hmm. And and how do how do we find ourselves in a better position than we did in the past? Because in the past. And we're going to start off with our the ugliest of our history, slavery. Mm -hmm. You know, in the past, you know, we was a huge facilitator of the Atlantic slave trade. Yes. So, and our whole, our whole nation started off on that, right? Yes. Um, it is, you know, I don't, we can never, I think, get past that. Mm -hmm. I think we can spend the rest of our national lives atoning for that. 
and yes. trying to be more benevolent. But we have to address it to begin with, right? Yeah, yeah, so starting sure, off, sure. we have to address our ugly uh, past and our ugly histories. I, I think at this point, the reason that we can't necessarily get past slavery mm-hmm. is because we just waited too long. Mm. Um, I think that we, you know, it's one of those things. It's not like what Germany did with the Jews. It's not like what Germany did with the Jews. It's it's not like what really anybody did with anything anybody. else. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like you know, it's like when when you wrong someone. I mean, the longer you wait to apologize, the more deep seated. Exactly. Yeah. You 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 just you can never make good on that, and yeah. especially if whatever you did to wrong them is still having a lasting effect on them. For sure. You know, you For come sure. back to them in their older age and decide to say like oh well i'm sorry that you know i you know embezzled x amount of money from the company i started with you it's like well that's cool and all but (laughs) now that i'm older that money could have gone to my kids and my grandkids and you can apologize now you know what i'm saying and then you know i guess you could at that point if we were speaking in, in the sense of reparations and what we could do it's like then you could at that point give them the money yeah, but you know they're on their debit. So are you giving the money to their kids? Because okay, now which kids? And now who? And that's where it starts to get really muddy. It gets you, muddy. Are you how? How do you even make good on this idea of slavery and reparations and what you did to a group yeah. of people? Because now the water's so muddy that, like they say, like who gets reparations? Oh, the descendants yeah. of slaves. Well, who are those? Who and, are they? And what's the what's the threshold? What is the threshold of that? How do you prove that? What percentage? Yeah. Of slave blood, do you have yeah. to have in yeah. you to be, you know, um, eligible eligible for the uh, for, <laughs> for the, the reparations? reparations. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it becomes this weird dynamic, and it's like, well, that's what happens when you take Wait. too long to make right the wrongs you've done. And then on top of that, also we, you know, we we would have to definitely address the treatment of the Native Americans. And so Come how on. how would you how how would and, 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 and I think we had our first. Native American member of Congress get elected this last round? I think so, yes. That is, the, I, I, I honestly think that, you know, th- I think that's ridiculous. I think that if nothing else, you know, each each nation, each uh, Native American nation should have a representative in Congress by default. Yeah. Now, who they vote in is who they vote in from their community. Yes. But by default, they should have a, a, a because, again, that's one of those things where it's like, you know, if I'm, I'm guys, I played so much civilization and, and <laughs> age of empires yeah, and all that. sim city and pharaoh and all these games yeah. about building uh nations right mm-hmm. um and building power so i understand the the complex position to be in it's like well we took your land and we're not giving it back mm-hmm. but we want to try to be cordial or uh-huh. something weird you know what i'm yeah. saying we we will never be able to do that. We'll never no. be able to make it right completely. No. But we can, what we can do is incorporate uh, Native Americans as much as possible in our nation. Yes, beyond just street names and 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 yeah. and f- like that and force. You know, we yeah. can do more than that. We give them power in Congress so that they can decide how how money is moved and how the nation moves. Yes. Um. So that's number one. Um. So so we have to look. You know, we have to look at that and address those two things. And to be honest with you guys, and this isn't saying that any of these things are good or anything or it should have happened or none of this crap, but the counterbalance of of continuous atonement Mm -hmm. to, like, how powerful we are is a good way to level off a nation that's so strong. Uh-huh. Like it's like this neat this this nation that that also that is that is has the largest uh, nuclear arsenal in the world, mm-hmm. the largest mil- well not the largest but the most powerful military on earth and the most powerful economy on the planet needs mm-hmm. to be needs a check you know yes. what I'm saying and and, yeah. and our check yes. is and our check is that we will forever be seeking to atone for the horrible history and the horrible thing that has hap- that we've caused and is continuing to cause yes. uh, in the world. Yes. And that in, that includes the, the legacy of the Middle East. That includes yeah. um, all the the, 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 the military uh, campaigns that we've taken that have just ended in utter. Yes, and we, it's and it's in 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 a in a way the source of our, some of our power. Mm. You know, it's the it's the idea that it's like you know it's like the amount of uh, capital that you gained off of taking the land of, <laughs> of, of yeah. people who already lived here yeah. or the amount of capital that you gained from slave labor 
yeah. is a so is a part of the. I mean, you have to it's be a part really of why you're honest. at where you're at. Exactly, yeah. it's like you're powerful because you did a lot of really heinous things. Yeah, and that's not to say other nations haven't done heinous shit either. There, because they, there's they, a lot of heinous going on in the world. Look, man. Look, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what? I mean, when 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 I start to uh, read up on the, you know, like what's going on in Nigeria. And yeah. the you know the whole uh, in SARS campaign that they have going on, and it was this moment where I remember that I had spoken to a lot of my Nigerian friends, and you know they had expressed that there was like you know corruption in yeah. different police forces there, yeah. but there was definitely a big downplay of it, yeah. like where it was like oh yeah you know sometimes they'll stop you and they'll blah blah, and now there's this, been this whole thing where it's just like a oh you're starting to see that. It, it it's mean, a like, shift from the norm. A norm is changing, right? Yes. Like that used to be the norm, but yeah. now it's like, yo, guys, this shit up. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's like, yeah, leave, leave me the fuck alone. Like, bro, do your job without me giving you a bribe. Exactly. Man, call it, it a just, day. Yeah, just, yeah, rock with it. <laughs> Everything will be better exactly. that way. Exactly. So, yeah. I mean, this idea that you know, um, uh, y- I mean, you can see that it's it's everywhere. Yeah. It, it it's everywhere. I mean, but you can you can definitely see that in America. It was one of those things where it was like it was done with such efficiency, and that's what made it so bad. And, and it was just it so like bad. this is making I mean, we are really good at kind of you know genocide. Yes, that, yeah. that's, that's, <laughs> it's, it's terrible. Like, I can kind of play out things where it's just like, well, technically we yeah. were trying to liberate those people. A side effect of that was we were gaining like oil reserves in different areas. Yeah, and I we mean, were able it, to, yeah. you well, know, uh, heinous. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, heinous shit been done in the interest of the American people. Yes. Right. And and that's what generals and stuff behind closed doors have have always used as an excuse uh, for doing bad. Shit. We a part of the new America would be to change that mindset from that to consistent atonement and to the and, 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 and again. And, and here's the thing. I'm always about how we can all win. Right. Uh-huh. So for the people who are continuously looking for the interest of the American people. It's in the interest of the American people to be an economic partner to every nation on this planet. True. It's in the interest of the American people to truly invest in other places mm-hmm. so that they know that they have an ally and that we can benefit from their trade and so that we uh-huh. can benefit from building them up and, and getting, um, I guess, political favors and stuff from that. That's mm-hmm. in our benefit. Yeah. So we can do that and atone at the same time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, guys, uh, you know, you can't. <laughs> I, I, again, I go back to like, I'm not, I'm not saying America's the only horrible nation on the no. planet. I mean, if you look back in history, the Aztec Empire was out here chopping, like, like, like laying yeah, waste yeah, to local yeah, clans yeah, exactly. and, and, and f- like sacrificing f- to the Aztec gods. Bro, I, I, <laughs> but, I, but I, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, we have such a weight, right? Yes. And and we we can both secure our interests and atone for that weight on a continuous basis because you never fix it and be better off for it all of us yes now i'll yeah. say I, I i think that's see see that's see i i think that a lot of the problem with america atoning for things yeah is see is that one of the strengths that we have is that uh and this is something that you said a long time ago. Yeah, I'm going to hold a skull. Hold a skull. You, <laughs> you said this a long time ago. Is that like one of the strengths of America is that like we have, you know, every four to eight years, we have peaceful regime changes. Yeah. Um, we have these things where it's just like, oh, we just move power over to the 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 the, the opposing party yeah. and, and a war doesn't break out. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of that has a lot to do what, with the uh the the reason why we don't tend to ever atone for anything mm. we always then go oh well you know slavery wasn't us we fought for the slaves yeah so and we have power now so you know hey abraham lincoln and the republicans are sitting back like no 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 no. remember we fought for the slaves so yeah. we should never have to atone for slavery yeah. because that was the other guy yeah and then you four years later you elect a different guy and when some you know this dude starts some sh- war somewhere yeah. then the other guy goes well no nah, i remember i was against that war so technically, <laughs> why should i yeah. have to pay for the last thing the last guy did i thought we all hated him <laughs> and he's gone now yeah, yeah. so then and then his homeboy comes in the next four years and you know it's it's so now all of a sudden they keep passing this buck where now america never really has to apologize for anything yeah. because technically it wasn't us it was the last guys whereas yeah. other nations have to apologize because they have these kind of long-running 
Yeah, I mean they're older. Monarchs, they're so, yeah, they're so you know. Old. They're so old. And 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 so it's like no no no, it was you. Yeah. And y'all dudes who was yeah. running the last twenty something years. Yeah. Y- you guys have to you know apologize for this, whereas America yeah. gets to say eh, it wasn't really me. Yeah. Because remember, I, I got in office and I brought a whole bunch of new homeboys in. Yeah. And we didn't do the last. <laughs> the other guys did. Have them pay for it. Yeah. I mean, and that you're right. You're right. That makes it tough. That makes it tough to pin down. I think. I think address trying to find a way to address that and then finding a way to address like how we interact with the world moving forward mm-hmm. is, is key. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't want, you know, in the past it used to be American imperialism, right? Uh-huh. It's like, yo, like we'll come and throw some gold at you and you'll let us build a, a military base in your country. Yes. And that's like, that's not the way to go about it. China's actually going about it. A terrible way, but a better way than what we did. So China, China, you know, if y'all don't know, there's a new age of Chinese and imperialism, especially in Africa uh, and, especially. And, and, and the Middle East. Uh, they have this um, new economic initiative called the Belt, Belt and Road Initiative, where they're basically trying to create the longest and largest trade network uh, in the world, mm-hmm. centered, of course, to them. Um, but what they're doing is is basically trying to make uh, they're investing in Africa, infrastructure in Africa and stuff in exchange for political favors, you know, military situations uh-huh. and also yeah. jobs for their workers. One of the worst things that they're doing is they're doing they're, they're, they're building all these bridges and stuff. And they promised or I hope they promised the, the African nations that they were going to hire, you know, uh, Nigerians or, or yes. people from Zimbabwe or Kenya. And they have not fulfilled that at all no. it's nothing but chinese workers in fact some nations are getting to the point where they're changing signs to be in chinese yes. <laughs> versus the local dialect the local language um because of the influx of, of the chinese and stuff that's some serious terrible imperialism we can yeah. do things with benevolence without taking advantage of people we can we can loan we can give people fair loans to say yes. hey we're going to give you this infrastructure uh, in exchange, just let our ships dock a few minutes. Right? Yeah. Oh, well, she's giving us the wrap. But <clears throat> <laughs> a few few more points. And so, okay. so it's like, well, you know, it, and not to where it's like abusive. There's yeah. a way to exchange this in a way to where it's not abusive, but it still furthers American American interests. And honestly, yeah. to be honest, we to, to make this less abusive, we should be transforming into the, uh, we should be transforming Truly, not mm-hmm. just in name, sake and not just in talk, into mm-hmm. the the banner of democracy. Yeah, it's like, hey, we will invest in your com- in your nation if you make your nation more free to your people. Mm-hmm. What happens when we start having those kind of conversations? What happens when we start to say, hey, guys, we've noticed a lot of corruption, and we've noticed that you're a democracy in name only. Yeah, we're only going to deal with you, and we're, we we have five hundred billion dollars ready to to invest. But you yeah. got to change how you deal with your people and cre- start creating a network of pure democracy, not pure democracy, but like serious democracy yes. with, uh, with us. Yes. There's a way to do it. It's just we haven't had the leadership who yes. had the intent to do it. And that's the problem. And so now I think with the new generation of leadership like the AOCs and the John Ossoffs and, and, yes. and these guys – uh, I think there's an intent of like, yo, let's actually be good. Let's yeah. actually try to f- use our power yes. for benefiting the world. Yes. Like, let's try to do that. Let's stop acting like America's the center of the planet, and let's use our our response, our our resources, and and all this stuff we've gained for the good of humanity. And that, to me, that's how we move forward. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I, like that. <laughs> I mean, that, but that's it, right? Yeah, yeah. No, that that that. Yeah, that that is it. Yeah. That that is it. If we if we are going to play the high ground, yeah, uh, we actually have to be on the high ground. Yeah, uh, and we, let, let's it's be. Like if we if we play the good guy, yeah, we have to actually play the good guy. Let's be Republic City, man. Let's let. <laughs> <laughs> I hope y'all watch the Avatar. But no, no, no. no. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, that right there. And on that, put that shot down. Put that, put that, put that put down. The, put that beard down. <laughs> hey, guys, man. We appreciate you guys listening to another episode. Yeah. I enjoyed this one, man. That was, it was good. A, it, was much, it was much more uplifting yeah. than the last one. Yeah, I feel that. I'm feeling loose. <laughs> I'm not loose. <laughs> it's bright outside. It, it's, it's bright as shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but hey man i appreciate you guys we appreciate you guys listening yeah, man. um please continue to follow like and subscribe on all the major platforms you know it youtube especially Hey man, yes. get our YouTube yes. followers. Get our YouTube yeah, subscribers yeah, man, up. Yeah, help man. us out. Come on help us out. I ain't, I ain't beyond asking for help from y'all. <laughs> <laughs> y'all listening? Exactly. No, but uh, I'm we, not America. <laughs> <laughs> help me. Help, help me. <laughs> no, but uh, hey guys, please continue to, to do all that stuff, man, and stick yeah. with us and, and continue to listen and stuff, and we'll continue to put out this content for you guys. We will. Hey man. Uh, wrapping it up, this is your bartender's Nick and Tobias with another episode of Thought Bar. We're saying goodbye and signing off. Peace. Thanks for listening. See you again soon. Mm-hmm.